my mom says hello to all of you <laughs> that reach out and leave your comments re via instagram or you know facebook or whatsapp or on youtube so thank you for joining the ven ven music and country life family i do appreciate you being a part of the family feel free to ask me any questions you may you know feel free to share your story with me if you are going through any cancer situation just feel free to share with me and to reach out i will also share with you my knowledge and what i understand and what you know is going on hence i started sharing with you the herbs because of how powerful i realized that they can be and and i've seen how they have worked for me the next time we went to the doctor was a chiropractor that we went to a bone specialist and he uses really the natural way you know of promoting healing within the bone in terms of if there is um, a deformed spine he would add force to it you know to help it to to be straightened like your neck you know um, align basically aligning the body that's what a chiropractor does so with my mom really the the, the bone uh, has lost a lot of its density so the bone really is thinning because of the bone cancer so that result in her statue meaning her so she no longer has her normal height so she's now shorter because of thinning bones um the bones are just losing a lot and another thing is that because of the section of the spine that has collapsed that resulted in a curb in her back that also has taken a lot of her height so she's now shorter and through everything though i am seeing the hand of god because she has a collapsed section within the spinal cord she has ribs that are damaged basically eaten out and sternum that has really eaten up itself deformed resulting in a big lump in the chest but it is very hard because it's like the bone is is is, is trying to heal itself you know so there is so much damage why my mom is still alive it's because of the hand of god now when we went to the chiropractor and you know he did the scans and so on when he got to the sternum and you know he started examining the scan and and and, and so on he was very puzzled because he's like, I cannot understand this at all. I am just not understanding this. And I was like thinking in my head, well, the truth is you're not supposed to understand. Because only God alone understands and only God know what is happening. But I'm telling you, huh, it's God why she's alive. And you will see, you will see. Because I will allow you to see. Being here and the one that is doing the treatments on her, I have learned so, so much. I am telling you. I am learning every day. And I have seen where, for me, this is a calling, you know, in everything and with all that I am doing. And, you know, every, oh, everything just happened. I'm saying, but God, you're just not easy because. I am in it and learning so much and doing so much and I'm saying it seems as if this is the university that you wanted me to be in. So I'm saying let us at times not hit ourselves down because of the, the struggle that we will find ourselves in. But let us use it to build on. Let us use it as motivation. When you're in the struggle, you know, it is, very, it, it is very difficult to really see the good side of things, you know. But you can. 
You can. Just be positive. I trust God. And I have seen him work so many times that when he's putting me through circumstance and difficult situation, I always say, Father, and I, I remember you did that for me. I remember when I was going to school and you provide for me out of nowhere. So there is nothing that you cannot do. Nothing that you cannot do. So friends, come on now. Build your faith. Allow this time and allow your circumstance to allow your faith to get stronger. Root your faith in the word. Read the word. Spend time with God and pray. Because the truth is, that is what is working for me. And that is what helps me to be rooted, to be strong. Because the truth is we can't make it without him if we're not, if, if we're not spending time with him. It cannot. We cannot do it. No. We cannot do it. And I remember, you know, the chiropractor look at us and, you know, he asked me if I'm the one with her. And, he, and I said, yes. And he said, mommy, listen, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, whatever you're drinking, what, whatever you're doing, he said to us, keep on doing it. He said, because many, many will not tell you the truth. Many will keep the truth away and will not say to you that, listen, this is the truth of, you know, of what will happen if you take this or if you do that. Many will not. But mommy, keep doing it. Because I'm telling you, if you had went the other way, the truth is, you will never be here today. That's what the doctor said to us. You see, that's God again. So friends... I'm telling you, you see, eating healthy pays. Changing your diet when you have realized that you need to change it pays. It's never too late to make a change. Hence, I encourage you whenever I post a video to eat healthy, live healthy and be happy because it pays. So you have to stay connected for the next episode.